What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Mugs, it's your boy, Laughing Caddy, back out of one of the Ashes Cricket Career Mode, and we will be playing our next game against Hampshire in Pool A of the Vitality T20 Blast, or it's known as the England T20 Slam in this game. We're third in the league, as you can see, and Hampshire is number one in the league, so Hampshire is the team to beat, and we are going to do just that. Well, I hope we do anyways. Let's get into this election of the lineup for this game. I'm pretty happy with this lineup, so I'm going to keep it the way it is. Let's move on and play this all-important game against the number one team in the pool, Hampshire, mate. Essex versus Hampshire at the Shelmsford County ground, which is a home ground of Essex. In this game, anyways, I don't know if it is in real life or not, but Chris Gould and Sean Clifford, pretty much the umpires for every single game, international or domestic, in this game. But yeah, lineups have not changed at all. It's a crumbly and hard wicket. The temperature's a bit on the low side. It's partly cloudy. There's a bit of chance of rain. It's heavy winds, 44 k's an hour. And 25% humidity. There he is, Laughing Coyote, the El Capitan. I just said the, the captain. L means the, anyways. Hampshire won the toss. We lost the toss. I shouldn't talk too much, because we lose. And they've elected to bowl first on such a hard wicket. I like to bat first, which, I mean, they've given me the opportunity to do that. So, I'm going to take that opportunity. And try to make the most of it. Daniel Lawrence will be opening alongside myself, Laughing Coyote. Why am I practicing with the left hand when I'm a right-handed batsman? I will never understand. Carl Abbott will be opening the bowling for Amsha. And yeah, it's the number one team in the pool against number three team in the pool A. All right, first delivery. What am I going to do? Am I going to go big? Yes, I am. That's a six off the first delivery. And that is how we do it, mate. Over the house. It's out of here, mate. 108 meters. Still haven't beaten my biggest one in this tournament. My biggest one is 110 meters. This is 108, just two meters short. And Carl Abbott, he's a very experienced bowler, but that was a very inexperienced delivery there. He should have known that that is my strongest side, the leg side. And he should not be bowling there, especially on a pitch like this when it's not going to move much. You know what, I'm going to go over the covers this time, it connects! And it's two sixes in a row! Like I said, they've given me the opportunity to bat first on a belter of a pitch. And I'm going to make the most of it, that's two sixes in a row. Kyle Abbott, each are hard out, mate. What is he going to do? He bowls on my leg, he gets smashed for a six. He bowls on the off, he gets smashed for a six. Maybe try a good length, because he's been bowling a bit full. The first two were a bit full. And uh, let's see what's going to happen on this one. It's a good length delivery, dispatch for a six. The maximum result, 96 meters. That's three sixes in a row. This guy... Is that for blood, mate? He's not going to stop that easily. Look at that. That is hit well. He's given him just enough room to swing his arms. And the rest is hit history. Thank you very much, Kyle Labbitt, for that. Come on. Come on, man. Can we make it four in a row? This man clearly is not looking to play himself in. And you know what? This time it's a short one, and that's a missed delivery. Good comeback. He finally figured out a way to, uh, to not get smacked for a six. But will he keep that, though? Will he get another dot ball, or will it be another? It's another short one, but he pulls it away, Laughing Coyote. It's not quite going to be a six, but it's going to go for the four. One bounce over the rope. And that's 22 runs off the over so far. Still one delivery to go on the over. Can Laughing Coyote get the fastest? Fastest century, I mean 50 ever. I'm gonna quickly get uh, a thumbnail from this and then I'm gonna move on. 110 is the mark to beat, but if I keep going like this, is that another one? I think it is. Yes, it is. This is much smaller than the first three, but they all count, mate. 110 is the biggest one in the tournament so far, and it's hit by me as well. But I'm looking to break that record, and if I keep, if I keep going the way I am, going so far i have no doubt i'll break that record in this game can i get the fastest 50 though i'm surely gonna try it go over the top this time i haven't gotten all of it 
but just enough for it to race away to the boundary for four runs. I don't know if it's a good plan, but I'm not gonna hold back. Oh no, there's a fielder there, and he drop. Oh no, he doesn't drop it. Well, he doesn't get a hold of it either, but it lands just in front of him. I'm aiming for the off, but it's on my body, and it's gone. If it's even remotely on the left side, it's disappearing. It's gonna be six. It's not gonna be the biggest, but it will be six runs nevertheless. You cannot ball on my body, mate. Special when I'm in the form of my life. 40 of just nine deliveries. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What is happening? They don't seem to learn their lesson. They keep balling on my body. I'm gonna keep smashing you, mate. That's 44 of 10 deliveries, which means I can get a 50 of 11 deliveries. The record is 12. So if I hit a six on this one, I will break the record of the fastest 50 ever. Not just in T20, but in ODIs and have Oh, that's perfect! What? Are you kidding me? Are you bloody kidding me? That was perfect. That was on my legs. It was there to be put away. And I miss the opportunity to get the fastest 50 ever. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I can still match it though. And it's Edwards. Edwards. Edwards! I hit it! Have I hit it? Oh no, I haven't. I'm gone for 45. I don't even get, don't even get a 50, let alone getting the fastest one. Five sixes, three fours, 375 strike rate. Oh my God. But Edwards finally gets me and I'm gone for 45 runs of just 12 deliveries. What a knock that was. Maybe I should have stayed out there for longer, but I hope you enjoyed this. I've sacrificed my wicket for your entertainment, and I hope you are entertained. Are you not entertained? Gladiator style, mate. Anyways, Nick Brown is the next man in, and I think we've got a pretty good, oh yeah, yep, we've got an amazing, amazing base to go off of. They've gone over 200 runs. We've gone over 200 runs, I should say. And uh, we've gotten a wicket already as well. So uh, this should be a cruising ride. You should, you know, we should just cruise through this one. And uh, we are, well, I mean, it's looking like we're going to beat the top team in the pool. But uh, let's not get complacent. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We still have a long way to go. This is only the fourth over. You know what? Let's finish it off. Oh, good. Okay. I thought he smashed it past the mid-off into the covers. But that's a brilliant over that comes to an end from me. So uh, it's looking good for us so far, but like I said, there's still a long way to go, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. Just two runs off that one. Can I replicate something similar? Also, if I can get a wicket, that'd be brilliant. Anyways. Oh, come on! I, I thought I smashed his off some pad, but <laughs> it swung a bit too much. You know what? Let's go for the same thing again. Oh, yes! Come on! Is that out? Is that out? That seemed very close. Should I challenge it? I don't think I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna. Because it didn't turn away all that much. You know what? Let's go with the same delivery again this time he plays it. And he'll collect a single, I hope. Yes, a single only. You know what? Let's make it interesting. Go with a short one. I think he nicked it. It moved a lot. It might have been late swing. I think it is late swing because I did not hear a sound. Not gonna challenge it, but that swung a lot. First two overs were pretty good. Let's hope. Oh, that's a good shot. Will the fielder stop it? I think he can. Oh no, he's not gonna stop it. That's gone. That's played very nicely by Burns. We've pretty much won this game, mate. Look at that. 115 and 13 overs. We need a lot more than that. About 100 more runs. Oh, I think he's nicked it. I think he's nicked it. Has he? Should I challenge it? No, nope, I'm not going to. I think he nicked it. I didn't hear a sound. I didn't see the ball move that much, but I did hear a sound. Right, they've already scored four, so it's not a good start. But, oh, that's a lovely shot. There's a fielder there, though, on the rope. Will he get to it? No, he won't. That's eight runs off the over already, and there are three, uh, three uh, balls to go. Forgot the bloody word. I almost said three runs to go. <laughs> Burns is on 49, so I'm going to push the... Uh, the mid on uh, back. Get a long gone. Burns. Oh, is he gone? I think I've got him on 49. It might have been outside line. It might have been outside line. 
Yeah, it was. <laughs> now, please, I'm begging you, don't hit me for another boundary. Okay, no. This time it's going to be a single. That's nine runs off the over. They need a lot more than nine and over. So I'd consider that a victory for us and not them. Burns gets his 50, though. So uh, there's something for the Hampshire fans to cheer about. All right, managing the bowlers. All right. The previous video have not gone up yet, so I don't know if I should leave this in or not because I haven't gotten the feedback from you yet. But um, I'm going to leave it in once more, and if you said no, then, well, I'm sorry. I won't in the next video. I'll have gotten the feedback by then. But, uh, yeah, this is the process that I go through literally every game. Um, I'm not going to try to give too many bowlers the ball. I've already given too many bowlers the ball, to be honest. But the thing is, I want Jack to bowl because he's a youngster, and I want him to do well. I want him. To, I want to give him opportunities, you know. Um, which is why I end up giving too many bowlers the ball, and I'm like, should I give Jack a, a go or should I not? I mean, we've pretty much won the game, so it doesn't really matter, you know, who balls. I mean, yeah, they can still win the game. I get that, but the chances of that happening are very slim. Um. So, I can afford... Should I just bowl... You know what? I'm going to bowl the last over. I'm going to bowl the very last over. I'm going to bowl out Amir as well. Beard has been bowling well. I think I'm going to bowl him out as well. Or maybe... I don't know. We'll see. Oh, we got a wicket! Muhammad Amir, the magician, got the wicket. So, we're definitely winning it now. Should I just keep it with Walter? Walter is... Uh, 12 run rate, or should I give it to Beard? Alright, you know what? Beard is gonna ball this one, and then I'm gonna ball the very last over. Ginger Prick, the beardless Beard, is gonna ball this. Oh, and he gets two wickets, two bloody wickets. That's brilliant to see. Alright, and then I'm gonna ball the last one. That's it. Right there. There it is. This is the first time that I gave myself the ball and they actually give the ball, give the right ball of the ball, you know. Usually they change it up when you skip it. Can I get a wicket? Oh my god, I was, I was so close. Top play. They brought it very close though. I wasn't even expecting them to get past like 170. They got past 190 as well, so they did bring it. Oh, that's a lovely shot. That's gone, ski mate. That's a six. Oh, it's not. It's a four. I thought the fielder might stop it, but he didn't. That's four runs. And uh, that's uh, seven off the uh, over. Um. Last delivery of the game. We've pretty much won the game. And it makes no difference what happens on this one. Is that out? I don't think it is. What happened there? I mean, I think he nicked it, but it hit the ground before it went to the keeper. And we have won the game by 21 runs against the number one side in Pool A in the Vitality T20 Blast. There it is. We fell short 21 runs and we won it by that much. And uh, yeah, we came out first. I had a blistering inning. 70, I mean 45 of just 12. And look at that. The youngster Daniel Lawrence not out of 70. 70 runs, not out. 51 deliveries, 48 from Brown. So it was pretty good performance overall. 26 from Taylor. Everybody contributed. And uh, Abbott got a wicket. Edwards got a wicket. Crane got a wicket. And Liam Dawson also got a wicket. And then Joe Burns from their side opened the batting. 86. Wow, brilliant. 18 for Adam. 46 for Riley Rousseau. Carnbury didn't get any. And uh, Dawson was gone for 32. Uh, Irvin got 8. Not out. McManus was gone for a duck as well. And uh, these are the bowling stats. Amir, Beard, and Niger all got two each. I didn't get any, although I kept the economy rate very low. But yeah, overall, a very good batting performance and an all right bowling performance led us to victory. And Joe Burns gets the man of the match. I would have personally given it to Daniel Lawrence since he was on the winning side and only scored 16 less runs than Joe Burns. But, you know, whatever the game decides, uh, we'll have to go with it, won't we? We don't really have a choice. All right, I think I'm going to end it right here in the next episode. We will be playing against Durham. And look at that, we're second in the league, just behind Gloucester. 
But anyway, smash that like button and then subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want to do, and I'll see you bitches in the next video. Until then, have a nice. Oh, my God.